is your vaccine central and this week's storm has thrown a wrench into COVID-19 vaccinations in our area. Yeah, basically they haven't been getting done right. and that's particularly a problem for people who were scheduled to get their second shot this week. Investigator Joel Eisenbaum looks at what happens next and a big catastrophe avoided with some quick thinking. It's been a week, hasn't it? A lot of people are suffering. But beyond the baffling buckling of the state's energy infrastructure and municipal water systems, this week has also been an acid test for COVID-19 vaccine storage. With the power out, we all know those vaccines need to be kept in cold storage. On Monday, Harris County Public Health came dangerously close to wasting more than 8,400 COVID-19 Moderna vaccines when power went out and then a backup generator failed. Quote, it is tested weekly and it was tested the day before it failed, Harris County Public Health told us. We got to work under the mission to avoid losing those vaccines with the loss of power. To the public health agency's credit, in short order, in the dead of night, in a storm. According to the county, not a single shot was wasted. More than 5,400 of those vaccines were rushed to three hospitals, Rice University and the Harris County Jail. Thousands were then administered on the fly, but some were returned. So of that original batch of 8,430 vaccines, 4,700 doses are back in storage with Moderna's blessing. That's one problem solved. I was a little sad when I got that email. But another storm-related vaccine issue is still out there. It's apparent on our KPRC2 Facebook page. It's filled with folks concerned about missing their appointments this week for part two of the COVID-19 vaccine. Hello, baby. For Esmeralda Torres, who hasn't had power and water for days, it's yet another stress point. Horrible for my family, for my kids. Um, I have never imagined that we were gonna go through this. The county this week sent messages telling people those second shots would be rescheduled. And that process is starting now, says a county source. But we wanted to know if extending the window lessens the effectiveness of the vaccine. Yes, we do want to get as close as we can to the window, but if we do have to extend that out, then um, our thought is that the benefits are still there. Data about what happens once you move outside of six weeks between COVID-19 vaccines is sparse, even unreliable. But one expert says, if you can keep it close, you're probably okay. And it's still better to receive the second vaccine than to not get the second vaccine at all. These times are very hard for everybody. Every, fa every family is struggling right now. Just be patient because everybody is going through a hard time. We specifically asked Harris County Public Health with the cold storage failure, are they planning on making any changes? The short answer is no. They believe they have the proper protocols in place. And you can see a detailed version of their response on click2houston.com slash investigates. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News. All right, thank you.